So I think we should start this video off with a little funny story time with Mike. You see, I was supposed to receive this product, the Wrecking Ball from By the Lane, early last week so that I could make a video on it for Black Friday. But of course, last week, this one didn't arrive. So I contact DHL to see what was going on. And what they told me was that this package had been recalled by Customs. So it had already gone through Customs reached my city, but then was recalled back to customs. Never seen that happen before. Maybe you have, I haven't, but it was recalled by customs. And of course I hear nothing. They tell me it could take up to a month. Nobody knows what the deal is, but then magically a couple of days later, I randomly just get a package on my doorstep and there's a sticker on it that says it's been opened by customs, which I kind of expected, honestly. And you know, I knew they, they brought it back for some kind of reason. I just didn't know what that was. And when I look further, when I actually look at the product to my amazement, I've seen that there's little holes inside the product. So they actually probed each jar of the wrecking ball. I'm not sure what they thought it was, if it was some kind of explosive. I mean, I realize it looks like one of those cartoon dynamite balls from Looney Tunes, or maybe they thought that I was trying to smuggle something inside my my hair clay. And, and of course, when they didn't find anything, they had no choice but to put my little by the lane bombs back in the box and ship them to me. I mean, honestly, did they think we were trying to smuggle drugs in our little clay balls? Okay, all right, come on, you know we had to at least once. I mean, the door was wide open for crying out loud. What is happening, guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me here today for this look at a couple new things from By the Lane. And of course, we are talking about the Wrecking Ball or the, the By the Lane Smuggler, obviously, as we just talked about. But this is a limited edition product that I don't really know how long is going to be available. It, it was supposed to be out last week, of course, before everything started selling. And so by now, we are very late on this it is still available on their site I just don't know how long it's going to be available there was only a, I think 5,000 units made so I decided this was gonna be a minor focus of the video but the main focus is gonna be on the new by Valene neon here I'll of course offer an opinion on the wrecking ball being as again it's still available as of this moment on the site and I'm assuming some of you are still curious as to you know what it is and how it performs and all the other stuff besides the fact that you can apparently smuggle drugs in the the ball. You can put your weed in there. And so let's not waste any time. Let's jump straight into it. According to By the Lane, the Black Friday Special Edition Wrecking Ball is a high performance styling clay with a strong hold, matte finish, and a luxurious scent. Again, it is a limited release item as well. Only 5,000 units were made, and it sells on their site for $14.50 US for 1.7 ounces. Looking inside the ball here. Now, that sounds weird. I, I feel like YouTube's about to flag my video and I'm going to end up on a list somewhere. But please, come look inside my ball jar here. Upon further inspection, the product itself looks a bit like Silver Fox, but that's just appearances. When you scoop it out and begin breaking it down, it's the complete opposite of Silver Fox, really. It's a bit thicker, it's not as dry or sticky at all, really. And I mean, not just in comparison to Silver Fox, this is really just not dry or sticky at all. It's a bit peculiar coming from this line and their history when it comes to formulas like this. It really stood out to me, actually. Now we are, of course, going to demo this product here but first I want to go through the neon I want to show you guys that first because for me the wrecking ball was a better post styler than it was a pre styler I mean I will say that it did work as a pre styler I did try it and I did get a decent result but I do like it better a little bit as a post styler and it really wouldn't make much sense to run it as a pre styler during this video and waste the time doing that because we do have an actual dedicated pre styler to look at but before we do that we of course need to get a closer look and some details on this guy so according to the brand the all new by the lane neon is a liquefied sea salt foam and comes with many benefits like heat protection up to 300 degrees Celsius or 572 degrees Fahrenheit. It also gives your hair some beachy texture and builds volume. It also comes in a 5.7 ounce bottle for 1650 US. Now as far as the bottle goes, I do think it's a really nice looking bottle. It's a really big size too. And as far as the consistency goes, it does come in the form of a foam. And if any of you guys remember the old uh, Seabreeze Limited from Bivalent 
lane. I think it was called Seabreeze or something like that. It, it came out a while back and that was meant to do pretty much the same as this if I recall correctly. And I did go back and compare the ingredients list and there are one or two ingredients that actually aren't in one, you know, like there's one ingredient that's in this, that's not in that and vice versa. But either way, the ingredients list were in different orders and there, and again, there were different products. So they're not the same formula is what I'm trying to say. It's not a rebranded form of that sea breeze. So I, I quickly eliminated that. But just like we saw with that other product there, it does come out in a foam. And when it hits your hand, actually, it just completely goes liquid, like pretty much instantly. It feels like water, actually. So when you apply it to your hair, it just makes it look wet. But how you use it is pretty straightforward and easy. You can use it either on blow drying or air drying they say if you air dry you get kind of this beachy look i don't know what it is with me in words today but i just feel weird saying beachy beachy and clay balls i feel like that could be some really bad cartoon or something the adventures of beachy and clay ball but anyway you can also blow dry this in for maximum results and that's actually how i'm going to demo it here for you guys we're starting off with damp hair of course and it's suggested on the bottle to use a dollop of product there to start with i'm not really sure how to measure a dollop but you know, this looks about right. And again, when you do get it into your hand, it goes pretty much liquid and then it enters your hair like nothing. It pretty much just feels like you're putting water in your hair. But I do like to make sure it's worked all the way into the roots and just spread all over the place. After that, of course, it's time to blow dry and to speed things up here. I'm going to jump into what I get after fully drying. And what I see here is pretty much some nice control. I do feel there's a little bit of hold there. There's not much stickiness really, but it's obviously there because this is not what my hair looks like naturally. It's not what my hair looks like with nothing in it. I do think there is a bit of texture there not too much honestly and volume is pretty much the same it's not a ton but it's not non-existent either so now that we have seen this in action here it's time to go back to our clay ball so i'm going to show you guys how this works as a post styler and honestly i gotta tell you this is pretty different than some past releases and i'm not just saying that to hype it i'm not an employee of by the lane you guys just it, it, it's the most ridiculous thing anytime i say something is decent and i don't rip it to shreds you guys come out with some kind of conspiracy thing but really, this is my honest thought. I'm going to talk about this more at the end. Where the others were dry and super sticky, this one is extremely lightweight. It's very slick in the application. Actually, just take a look for yourself here. It's very light in the application. I can run it through my hair here with no problem at all. This is that same style that we just left with the neon, actually. And, and as I add it to my hair, it just glides through, which is definitely not normal for by Valane. And as I add in two scoops here, I do think we have some decent hold but it's not really like a hold like again we've seen in the past with this brand it's more of like a natural control or just a very lightweight hold it's again very different but it's still very adequate as well for my hair and really in the end i have to say the initial style is very cool now what i personally see in the wrecking ball here is really a nice change of pace for this brand it's very lightweight it's natural and initially i have to be honest i wondered if it would be enough to really get a good result out of it for my thick hair with it being so light but it did actually control it very well in the beginning of course though as things tend to do it did change throughout the day and i did stop to give you guys a look at five hours in here you can see it did go down a little bit in that volume and yes it does look a bit deflated what it feels like to me if i run my fingers through it is it became incredibly soft just really soft actually and i think it was because of that softness that the hair just couldn't stand up which is a bit concerning to me in the hold department but depending on how you look at it it could be a solid plus now overall though i do think this was a very cool direction for them to go and i am glad that they didn't just rebrand another variation of the gold digger or the silver fox down in my clay anything like that i do think though that there are some areas that it was a little light in and those are some key areas like volume texture endurance and i do think again that's all kind of how you look at it i i, I think if you look at it the other way you know if you have light if you have fine hair or straight straight hair, you're going to get a little more than I am. So it could end up being a really great thing for some people like that. And again, I do think in the beginning, the style was fantastic and it stayed really good until about five hours in. So again, I guess it's all about how you look at it. Some people consider five hour endurance to be really good and something they can work with. Some people really need that full eight hour endurance or even longer than eight hours. So it's kind of, again, how you look at it. I will say that if you do have a chance to get a hold of this. Again, I don't know how long it's going to be available, but if you do get a chance to get a hold of it and you have fine hair, straight hair, thin hair, whatever, I think it's going to be a great product for you because, you know, 
obviously you're gonna have different results than me. I have thick hair, so you're gonna have different results than me. And I think some of the things that it was lacking for me is gonna actually be your benefit. I will say too that it does go the full eight hours when you pre-style with Sidekick instead of the Neon. And in regards to texture, I did see some nice separation up there in the front that you saw in the demo. I saw, you know, a little bit of texture there, not a ton. And I do wish that that and the volume and really the hold was a little bit higher. I think that's kind of where my criticism sits. I wish it would have been just a little bit more in each of those three areas. When it comes to the Neon though, I'm a bit indifferent on it to be honest with you. I do like the overall end look and result that it provides, but I'm just not sure I'm getting everything that it says it provides or that I need everything that it says it provides. I mean, heat protection, for example, I'm not a big believer of. I mean, I, I, I believe it's providing it. And if you are a believer in heat damage, then great, that's there. I'm just saying I'm not one of those people that really believes in heat damage and so i wouldn't choose a product specifically on that because i don't need it personally i'm also not fully sure that i see the texture that it says it provides and that's something that i find myself thinking when i use a lot of these sea salt products i just am not sure that i see a lot of that beach look or the beachy look that i keep talking about i'm just not sure that i see a lot of added texture from products like this i did again see it doing something i saw some you know slight control which looked nice it did set up a nice lightweight pre-styling foundation and i again i do think folks with fine hair or straight hair you know this is really going to work for you guys again because you're going to get more exaggerated results than what i got but you know to be totally honest i see a better result with the sidekick I love the Sidekick. I use it all the time. And, you know, I, I feel like it's kind of the, the same effect that this is kind of the same effect that I get with Sidekick, but just the volume turned way down. And for me, I just rather use the Sidekick and get that extra hold for my thick hair. That's just kind of how I'm looking at it. Again, it might be different for people with different hair types than me, but generally I just go right for the stuff with the stronger pre-styling hold and for me, that's Sidekick. That is pretty much my thoughts though on both of these products. I do hope you find this helpful and the info that I have shared gives you guys a good look at both of the products, you know, in, enough to for you guys to make your own decisions on them. Remember, my reviews are based on my experiences only and are not based on bias or money or anything like that. And no matter what the product is, no matter what the brand is, I simply use the product and share what I see, good or bad. And both of those things are delivered to you guys in a professional way without bashing products, bashing brands, because in my opinion, bashing products don't make you honest. I actually just feel like it's for views and for getting attention. But speaking of views, I want to thank you so much for viewing this video. And if you'd help me out and tap that like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already, that would just be amazing. I really appreciate that. I will be back to you guys again very soon. And until then, you take it easy. I'll see you next time.